You getting up? Yeah. Alright, love you. We could do the warranty calls and taxes. Alright. Well, get them to call you back. Just make them call you back. I mean, these people don't want to call us back. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I'm going to call you back. Alright, I think that's the part right there. It's the motor for a Thor. A Thor. It's a high end rig right there. Alright, off to a fr another refrigerator call in Union Mills, North Carolina. I think that's by Tryon. Here. Refrigerator is good. Nothing frozen there. Let's go ahead and unplug her here. You guys like that? I got two of these. I'm going to get another one. I just need another 30 amp cord for the van. Okay, I had someone in the comments say, Ross, oh, you're going out of business. You had to close your shop. Oh, 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 oh. No, that's wrong. I want to make this very clear, guys. We love you, but please, in the comments, you're killing me. This is a shipping container. It's a 40 foot high cube. It's almost brand new. I bought it because the guy, the guy was a friend of mine that had the old shop that owned it was renting to me he needed the space and we didn't have enough space there so we closed it and now we're looking for a warehouse or a big nice piece of land by a busy highway and we're going to take this and move it over there afterwards you know you guys jumped the gun on the, on the comments it's like holy smokes the guy's got to think before you type you know i mean come on you see you see me going out of business i'm working every day and we can do more mobile work right now. And the mobile work we have is a lot. So I'd rather just do mobile work for right now. And then later on, buy a warehouse when the economy drops. You got to look at the economy. You, you can't just say, oh, because the economy is going to drop. We're going to get a huge place for dirt cheap, half the price, or even less than half price, right? And then we're sitting pretty in a couple, in like a year or two. All right, let's get some Petro. They kind of know me here, so I just wave to them and they turn the pumps on usually. We'll see. I guess that ain't gonna happen today. I guess I gotta go in. Hello? Hey Gary, how you doing? Alright, who's this? This is Ross, the Camper Pros guy. Yeah, hey buddy, what's up? You got a sec? Uh, yeah, just for a second. Just a second? Hey, um, I, I see you clearing your land out. How's that going, good? I just ain't had much time to be down there to do nothing, to be honest with you. Yeah, I Damn. hear you, I hear you. I'm, I, uh, I'm out of that shop. I got a shipping container and I put all my stuff in. I'm at my house, working in mobile. Yeah. But we're looking for a land on Sunshine Bostic, so if looking for like two acres two to three acres if you know any anybody or if you ever wanted to part with some of yours let me know because we could yeah, yeah I, I, I can't sell mine Ross I can okay. just tell you yeah, yeah. I, I can't sell it buddy I, I got too much land behind it and, and, uh, yeah well it, it just uh, I, I just can't do it you know right. I, I got 300 acres behind it you know what I'm saying yeah if I sold, if I, if I sold you two acres right there then I got uh, I got 305 acres behind it, you know, and, and yeah. that's... You don't want to sell the front road area, because then you'll... Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I understand. No big deal. I just... I figured, uh... I just... I figured I'd ask. My dad always told me, go ahead and ask. It doesn't hurt anything. <laughs> now, I might rent you something or something, you know, or something yeah. like that. Uh, Short-term or something like that. I, or, you know, whatever. Well, scratch that idea, because no one wants to get rid of their land. I'm pretty aggressive and I do ask because my dad always, my dad taught me some one good thing. He says, it's not going to hurt to ask. Open your mouth. It's not going to hurt to ask. You just ask nicely and if they say no, then you walk away. And, uh, you know, the guy doesn't want to sell his land. So he's got 305 acres and he wants to put a food truck in front of it. I'm like, a food truck? Hey, you can make a lot more money off me, but I guess he doesn't want to do it. So it is what it is. And uh, I can't make them sell the land it's his land and there's nothing we can do about it we can't do roofs we're passing all these roof jobs up but what are you going to do they don't want to sell they don't want to sell and i'm waiting for the economy to drop but it's not like it's dropping the houses are dropping but the land's not dropping because no one wants to get rid of it you got to talk them into getting rid of it and that's nearly impossible 
You heard it. You don't want to get rid of it. No one wants to get 300 acres. You don't want to get rid of one three acres of it because it's a road front. And I get it. I get it. But it's a little irritating. Look at the stock we got to carry, guys. Boards. Uh, toilet cleaner stuff. Those are all my oils right here. Lubes. Grease. Propane tape. A brand new Craftsman set. Both ratchets locked up. Both ratchets. I don't think I'm buying Craftsman anymore. This is, I'm having too many problems with them. I didn't even put much, much pressure on it. This is ridiculous. Brand new, guys. What is up with the work quality of stuff? It's ridiculous. I can't even use this stuff. Brand new. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't lock up. Usually it does. I had to take this wiper motor off real quick. Okay. Open sesame and don't fall out, tool. Oh, of course they do. Had better luck with the wall. I know they're both China, but... Listen, I can't spend a ton of money in tools, guys. This was like a $200 box, but I got it for 150 I got two of them. For the, one for the van, one for the ambulance. But here's the thing. That's a nice Craftsman set. But the wall I've had way better luck with. Holy cow. It took me about 25 minutes, 30 minutes just to get that damn thing out of there. There's bolts here, here, here. And you just can't get to them. Holy cow, guys. This is ridiculous. I should be able to get it out in 10 minutes, but not this one. It took me all that time just to get this thing out of it. I don't know what it is, guys, but I'm getting pretty busy. Um, right after this Christmas, I didn't have any jobs for two weeks. Because I left for Christmas for Florida. But right now, it's like everything just turned and we're getting slammed. And I'm the only guy now. Which is fine, because Walt will be back in a couple days. But holy smokes getting slammed all at one time dead winter i didn't think this was going to happen i thought we we're going to die with the economy but people are still spending i guess so i got to make sure this block didn't crack and this motor right here is diesel i put straight antifreeze in i thought it'd be good but yeah. we'll warm it up to see if it's cracked i hope it's not cracked it's a pretty truck. It's cracked. It's all on me. Fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars. See, the dash is like immaculate. Seats are immaculate. Four by four flatbed dually. Seven three with only like one hundred ten thousand miles on it. I'd be pissed if this block cracked. So we'll get it warmed up and let it idle for a while. Drive around and see what we got. Camper girls. See that O-ring gasket right there? 40 cents, almost cost me a motor. I blew a gallon of diesel out the back. So I got it fixed. My guy fixes it pretty cheap. He charged me like $200, two, two or 50 or so, I don't remember. But uh, thank goodness, because I could have blew the motor. So we're gonna make sure that motor's good. Well, that's cool. I just got off the phone with a huge company, RV company. I won't say the name. Um, and they're, they put us in the books for this area. We're going to local area. We're going to fix all the RVs for them because they like us. And we actually just got a job for tomorrow through them, through that big company. So that's cool. Um, you know, you start getting in with these big companies. And if you're in the area and you do real good, they'll, they'll trust you and they'll pay you. Sometimes you got to work the paint, you know, sometimes they want to work you down a little bit in payment, but if they send you a lot of work, it's worth it. I guess these seven threes are pretty tough. Woo. Okay. We're up. Uh, I have no clue. I've never seen this, but the guy built a big RV park here. Isn't that crazy? Way out in the woods. That's awesome. We're building parks everywhere. Just keep building them because then we can keep making money. So it's burning too rich. So he's probably got something spiders in there or something. A couple of them would clog it. There's got to be more in there. Holy cow. Told you. Wire tie, guys.
Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, guys. I'm cooking bugs. They're burning the bugs. It's all cooking. There's so many bugs in there. Holy cow, it's cooking. Going for a tour now. A new, brand new RV park. Brand spanking new. Guy's nice enough to show me around. I'm going to show you guys. Oh, the river's right here. Look at that, guys. He's going to have tubing here and everything. This is in Kaser. Is it Kaser, North Carolina? Kaser. Kaser, Kaser. Near Golden Valley. Golden Valley. Way out here in the woods, but I mean, I'll tell you what, it's pretty out here. Look at that. Look at the ice still. Holy smokes. Cool. There is a, a, a great swimming hole. So it's about that deep on me. All the way to the rock. Oh, you've been in there swimming? What's that? You've been in there swimming? I will swim all the time. My kids stayed in here all summer. Oh, that's cool. It's all right. Going like straight uphill. See the Blue Ridge Mountains? In the distance? Oh, the Blue, Blue Ridge, Blue, yeah. Straight up through Golden Valley. Right there. South Mountains to your right. Yep. Uh, Listen, Berry Mountain, it's nothing old. And then you got Cherry Mountain over here, so. Oh, that's Cherry Mountain over there. Cherry Mountain. Listen, Berry. So we're kind of in the foothills a little bit. Yeah, we're in the foothills. We're in the yep. foothills. Yep. Okay, guys, we'll catch you later. I had to stop real quick. I talked to the guy for like two hours. Real nice guy. He's open RV park, so, you know, most RV park guys are nice because they give you calls. But um, I just I just saw a 1,200 pound pig. 1,200 pounds for a pig. So guess what? I took a picture of it, I'm gonna show you. In the beginning, it might be my thumbnail, that's a good one. Have a good night, guys. See you, we'll see you.